In this video, you're going to learn about a secret pocket of homes that's in one of the most sought after communities in Sacramento, California. So if you're moving to Sacramento, this video is for you. This community is right by the Sacramento River, has some of the best access to downtown. People love, love, love this community. We're going to go over location, price points, and everything. And if you stay at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about one of the best Italian restaurants in Sacramento that's actually located in this pocket. All right, let's talk about the pocket Greenhaven. Um, I like the area, and you said you just closed a home there, right? You just funded. Yeah, about a week ago, uh, in the uh, like in the kind of in the center of the village, a uh, like a mid-century style house. Um, you know, price point I believe it was eight sixteen. Um, so Pocket's a, a great location. Um, the clients they work downtown. You know, you got you got a a, a quick commute. Um, you know, and, uh, there's a lot of resources out there that we're going to talk about tonight. So, uh, from a location standpoint, it's, it's a very uh, sought after area. Well, you hit on, you hit something right there. It's like, it's a mid century home areas, mm -hmm. kind of like Elk Grove areas like Folsom don't, don't really specialize in various kind of houses. There are a lot of tract homes in those areas. The pocket is kind of nice because there is such a mix of housing styles there, right? A lot of people like going there yeah. because it shuts down at nine. The community is good, but also the house styles there are very different. I mean, you're not going to see a street that has all kind of like the same color, the same kind of mm -hmm. kind of floor plan, everything too. It's really kind of, it's really a nice spot and close to downtown. What do you think about the location? The, the location, I mean, it's, it's great, especially if, if you work downtown or even if you're from the Bay Area and you're looking for like an easy commute. And, and I would define an easy commute as like being able to get on to the freeway access. You know, if, if you got to drive all the way across town from El Dorado Hills before you're really, you know, commuting out of Sacramento, um, you know, that adds quite a, quite a bit of time to your timeline. But from pocket uh, you know, it's only maybe, you know, five, 10 minutes before you're on highway 80, depending on what time of the day you're, you're making your trip. So I, I feel like that's a, a reasonable, uh, commute length. Um, yeah. and then of course, locally, uh, you know, especially if you're somebody that, you know, spends time either in like the downtown or East Sac midtown area or, or even Elk Grove to the south. I mean, you're really close to everything because you're right off of the I-5. I mean, it literally the the east side border of Pocket is I-5, so it's uh, it's really quick to get places. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at this from like to downtown about 14 minutes, to mm -hmm. the airport about like 12 minutes. And then to the Bay Area, an hour and 45. I mean, of course, it's going to be quicker if you live in Elk Grove. Of course, it's going to be quicker. But if you're living somewhere like a Folsom, if you're looking for someone, somewhere like a Roseville, you're going to be tacking on maybe between 20 and 40 minutes additionally to get to the Bay Area. So the pocket mm -hmm. tends to be one of those spots where a lot of people, if they're working at UC Davis Medical Center, or maybe they work in the Bay Area one day every couple of weeks and they need to go down, they love this little pocket of houses that they can jump into. And for me... One of the things that I love about the area specifically is the idea that, um, you know, that it has water, right? It's one of the few mm -hmm. areas and communities that kind of like borders right on kind of like the Sacramento River, which I think is just so cool. I mean, the idea you can incorporate like walking on a trail near your water. You can bring your boat at Garcia's Bend and actually bring it in there and actually go salmon fishing. What do you what do you like about this kind of? lifestyle out here that people might not be used to seeing in Sacramento. It's, it's really cool. Actually, my, uh, my chiropractor, uh, he lives over there off of Brickyard and he's got a big old boathouse right off of the back of his, his property. And I've, I've actually been there before and you can, you know, fish right off of it. But, uh, you know, the, one of the cool things that you see a lot of over there is the levee. Um, that you're kind of yeah. zooming in on. There's a trail basically that goes all the way around. So you see a lot of people walking, riding bikes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's, uh, you know, it's a, you're, you definitely feel like you're a lot closer to like nature or outdoors or whatever when you're on that side of town because when you're looking across the river, for the most part, it's just rice country. Um, yeah. you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of, of stuff out there. It's not like you're looking at a landscape of, you know, tall buildings or, you know, things like that. So, um, it is a, it is a cool little pocket. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of funny. They called it pocket cause it truly is kind of this little pocket off of the side of uh, Sacramento. 
Well, one of the things too also is the fact that like it's one of the select markets in the Sacramento area. They are actually not building any more new homes. There's no mm -hmm. land in the pocket to build. So what you're going to see here is just a mixed variety of styles, like some in the 70s, 60s, different kind of style of homes, which would just make it really, really kind of cute and something that's really different than other spots of Sacramento. If you're someone who wants mid-century, there you go. If you want something that's a little bit more like ranch style home, there you go. If you want something that's a little bit newer, two stories you got that a lot of these houses also are set back and we'll take a look at some of the homes later on in the video but a lot of these houses are set back um well one of the things that too is like when we did a, a video a long time ago in the pocket everyone was like kind of curious about what we are doing they're mentioning all these fun things to do there they're talking about the community vibe there they're talking mm -hmm. about like yeah you know like we ran into a couple doctors they're like oh yeah we work at ucd but at the same time what we liked about this area is that at nine o'clock it shuts down we can go for some nice walks along the water and they're telling me that specifically in this area it just felt cooler because they had the sacramento river there and i met a lady there who actually was pulling out her boat and she had a salmon like like this big it was crazy. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of people who don't know Sacramento are thinking like, we're so landlocked. Yes, you have these bodies of water, but they're so far away. Here, it's one of those spots where if you bought a house in the pocket specifically, you literally could go for a nice walk, nice body of water, enjoy that kind of vibe. And I think that that is something that's a little bit rare in the Sacramento area, don't you think? Well, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, stand out to me and it makes total sense is, that, you know, it's landlocked by the river on the west side and uh, not just the west side, basically the north, west and south side, right? Like you really only have the east side of, of the uh, area that's, that's open, right? So yeah. there's really no reason to go into the pocket area unless that's like your destination, Whereas in a lot of areas throughout Sacramento, um, they end up, you know, you know, kind of being a, you know, area that people commute through to get to other places. So, you know, the comment about things shutting down in the evenings totally makes sense because there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, you, you know, yeah, you, you've got some local businesses, obviously, but the local businesses in the village are mainly like restaurants and, you know, dry cleaners, things like that. Um, uh, oh, are you, uh, you're looking at, uh, I believe that's what Greenhaven Lake or River Lake. There's two lakes over yeah. there. I can't remember which one's which. Look at this. Look at these houses right on the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just amazing. This, yeah, uh, Greenhaven There's Lake. There's some sick, the, the, the houses on those lakes and also some of the ones on the levee, um, are some, there's, there's some like super custom homes. Uh, supposedly a lot of the Kings players live out there. Um, at, at least in the past, I don't know about the current folks there, but, uh, it's, it's a really, uh, really popular place. You're looking at JFK high school right across there. That's a really nice school. Um, obviously go to greatschools.org, but, uh, you'll find, uh, some high scores in that area. I mean, it's really, really, I mean, like the thing that's so funny about an area like this is if you don't really know about it, you're never going to know about it. This is like, mm -hmm. and we keep saying this, this is a pocket, but it's like, honestly, a lot of people come to the Sacramento area and they're looking for either the East Sacramento land park area, or they're looking for Folsom and Roseville and all that stuff too. But at the same time, like something like this, where you get like water access, you get like a nice high school and elementary school in the pocket where you don't have to drive much. Good community vibe, nice little nestled community, close to everything, but far from everything, if that makes sense. You know, I mean, you got these nice little houses. If you want, if you said to yourself, you know what? I've always wanted a house on the water. I want my boat dock. I want to fish. I want all that stuff. I mean, this is where you do it. You know, like this is great. But like one of the things that I always like, kind of like, you know, everyone's always focused on Folsom, El Dorado Hills. These areas go kind of underneath the radar because people don't mm -hmm. really like showcase them, right? They're not like New Home Central or they're not that, but they're really amazing houses, like you mentioned. I mean, right on the water, great area. And if you ask anyone in Sacramento about the pocket Greenhaven, I mean, majority of people are going to be like, oh my God, the pocket. I love the pocket. But people coming in from like maybe the Bay Area, people coming in from other areas, aren't going to know about these spots. They're going to be like, oh yeah, let's go to Folsom. Let's go to like Elk Grove. Let's go to Laguna. Mm. 
But like I said, this is a nice area and they're not building any new homes. Everyone set, tends to know each other in that area. There's a little bit of shopping. There's not a whole lot, but there's some parks. There's like late. I mean, it's just a nice, nice little area where if you're looking for something a little bit different than maybe like a Taylor Morrison home, or if you're looking for something different than maybe living in East Sacramento and being close to like downtown and hearing all that noise and having that vibe, you still want something that gets you close to UC Davis. You want something that gets you close to downtown, but only when you want it. That's what the pocket green have even kind of represents to me. You know what I mean? What do you think of that? Yeah, no, that, that's a great, a great description of it. I, I think a lot of people, the first, at least like locals from the Sacramento area, the first time that they go to the pocket area, typically um, there is a, a, a little known place called the Portuguese Hall. It's like on the west side of, of uh, the pocket area. But that's like where all the spaghetti feeds and the crab feeds and the this feed and the that feed, all the little fundraisers that, you know, that get done throughout the community. The Portuguese Hall is one of the only halls that has those uh, steam baskets that are big enough to do lobsters and all that kind of stuff. So a little fun fact. But um, a lot of times that's when people, you know, for the first time go into that area. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great spot. You should really check it out. Yeah, for me, I'm trying to find the Portuguese Hall because you kind of like made me hungry. But <laughs> for me, the pocket is one of those spots that like, honestly, like I don't get too many unless I mention it until I sh or unless I show people the area, they don't know it mm. exists. They don't know any yeah. of this stuff. I mean, and I think that's that's kind of one of the things that's kind of lacking a little bit in the exploration of Sacramento. Like I said to a lot of people on this channel is the fact is there's a lot of lifestyles. There's a lot of different areas and you really have to do your education and research. Um, but for me, whenever I show the pocket to people, I think the housing styles look a little bit like Sacramento. Southland Park a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, Southland Park, I think is still kind of connected to like downtown and it's still like right there where this just has that vibe. I mean, like, you know, you're shutting down, but you're still close to downtown and the commute isn't like something like if you live in Elk Grove and you're going to add another maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to that. So for me, I, I really, I mean, I like it. You know what I mean? And there's a little fact about the, how many people live there. So it's not big, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like majority of these people, the people who live here nowadays, that's a little different, right? Nowadays you're talking to a lot of people do remote work. I think a lot of people have inherited houses and they just live there and they're just loving it. But a lot of people also that we've moved into that area specifically work at UC Davis Medical Center or work downtown and they love it because they maybe live somewhere like a Tahoe Park or a land park, but they're starting a family. They want something with a community vibe, riding bicycles on the streets, having that kind of like security where you know your neighbors and everything too. And I think the pocket really plays into that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's a it's a nice little family community for sure, especially kind of just the how, how the geographic you know, works with the river and, you know, just kind of how, how it carves out. There's, you just don't have people flying through in their cars as much, you know, and there's uh, you're, you're really only going there if you, if you're from that area. So it's uh, definitely kind of has the, the community vibe. No, it's cute. Uh, and I would say, okay, the median home price here in Sacramento is is probably going to be around 530. So here, mm -hmm. yeah, you're definitely going to be a little higher up in the median home price. Um, but at the same time, I think also what you're getting there is just additionally like, you know, the neighborhood, the vibe, being close to the water. Like, I think the pocket does kind of have checks all the boxes, right? Now, if you're a new home person, this might not work for you, right? But if you're someone who likes a little bit more of like a unique house, you miss that kind of like, you know, like the community, the streets being done, the established neighborhoods, a lot trees. of trees in this area too. Trees. Oh my God. Trees and nature. So nice out there. But I do think that this is an area that you need to check out, right? Um, there are a lot of people in Sacramento who are moving to Sacramento that come from other areas that have trees and they're seeing these new home communities that are great. Don't get me wrong, but they want those established communities, tree lined streets. And I think the thing is like a lot of people look at areas like East Sac and Land Park and go, eh, it's too close to downtown for me. It's not really my thing. I wish there was something like that, but a little further away in a pocket that separates us from downtown. And this is your spot. Wouldn't you think? Oh yeah, absolutely. Plus uh, I think you mentioned it earlier, but uh, just in case it's the, because you're right on the river and the way that, that it, you know, the, the just the geographic, location of it how it works you have like a nice breeze especially in the evenings we call it the delta breeze out here but it's like it could be hot you know as you know what around town in sacramento and like a good 10 15 degrees cooler 
over there because you got that nice delta breeze blowing through so uh it's it's you know from a location standpoint unless you're somebody that just likes spending your time in the foothills or at Folsom Lake or something like that I mean you, you know it's a it's a good spot to be located at well that's another thing that's absolutely huge too is the fact that let's face it summers are getting warmer it's just the mm-hmm. way it is. I mean, we probably had one of our hottest summers recently. And the idea is that if you live in an area that's by water, if you live in an area that's a little bit cooler, that's really going to add up in the near future. And so I think that there is something to be said about this. And I also think there is something to be said that a lot of people, when they move to Sacramento specifically, they kind of want it all. They want to live by, honestly, they want to, they want a boat, you know, and you could have a boat here. I mean, like, like I said, like, Uh, Garcia's Bend you can bring your boat down there's the whole thing I mean the houses in this area also there are some driveways that are set back so you can have your boat as well too so if you're Mm -hmm. someone who says you know like I love the idea of going to Sacramento Folsom ain't my jam you know downtown too close to the freeway and everything too I need something that gives me that community vibe this is it like this is a such a good spot and I haven't seen anyone really say anything negative about the pocket In fact, I'll have to go the reverse on this one and say that when there's something good in the pocket, it goes relatively fast. Oh, yeah. There seems to be the competition in the pocket. If you're going on a scale of one to 10, I would say probably about an eight. Um, Because honestly, one is it's weird because the pocket really isn't one of those spots that people know a lot about. And it's still super competitive. You know, and that kind of throws me off completely because, you know, areas like Folsom, everybody knows about them. Everyone loves them. Moving into it, Elk Grove, Rockland, Granite Bay. The pocket is like one of those kind of like you're in, you know, because someone told you about it or you knew someone who lived there. And it's just still a little bit of a secret, but it's still super, super competitive. I mean, even the one you guys just closed, I mean, that was probably not an easy one, right? Super quick escrow, and and I was gonna say I have a I have a theory on 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 what you were talking about as far as like it not being really well known. However, it's super competitive. You know, we you and I did a video on East Sac a few weeks ago, and one of the things that you know about East Sac is a lot of the people that buy in East Sac are from East Sac. It's a lot of like insider trading going on. Um, I think in the pocket area, what I see a lot of times is that's a very desirable, like, quote unquote, move up neighborhood uh, in the Sacramento area. So for people that are already in Sacramento and they've got their eyes set on, you know, like stepping up into a nicer, you know, nicer neighborhood, basically for a lot of them, especially if they, you know, if they live in or, you know, they got to commute to downtown or all the, you know, kind of things that we mentioned as, as, you know, the great things about their, they've got their, their uh, eyes set on that. And so when something pops up, it doesn't sit around long, you know, unless it's got, you know, uh, problems with the property or, um, you know, there's, there's some houses over there that, you know, sit for a while, but it's typically like the mega mansion, you know, multi-million dollar, you know, river house that's going to take a while to sell anyways, or, you know, the extreme fixer upper that an investor needs to buy, which is kind of few and far between. I think there's only like maybe eight or 9,000 houses over there. It's not a big community and it's completely, like you said, built out. Well, I think you're right. I mean, like, you know, things fly there and it is weird because we don't really have that demand from outside the area because it's a secret. Not a lot of people know about this Mm. area, right? Like for people who are looking like maybe East Sacramento and Land Park, you're right. I mean, like it's usually people in Land Park buying other Land Park houses, East Sacramento buying East Sacramento, because that's one thing, that's how the realtors kind of market it. But the other thing too is um, areas like Folsom, El Dorado Hills are super, super popular. Rockland's popular. So a lot of people see these areas as being like, oh man, $2 million in East Sacramento and pivoting maybe towards a Folsom or like Mm -hmm. maybe like a Granite Bay or something like this. But the pocket, as far as price point, it's still relatively for what you get there, pretty much good. You know, like the price, yes, has gone up like crazy, like everywhere else in Sacramento. But basically, if you look at this price point, like what, what, you know, close to 3000 square foot house at a million dollars. I mean, what, where are we seeing that? We're seeing that in gold river where I live. We're seeing that like, Mm -hmm. you can't even get that price point for that square footage in a good house in like Folsom, El Dorado Hills, way higher than that. You got like Rockland higher than that, Roseville higher than that. So the pocket is literally still a little bit of a secret. And I think you can get a really nice house there. What do you think? I, I agree, especially if, if you've got a family, um, you know, the, the schools over there, 
I've I've looked. You know, I got small kids, so I've I've researched the heck out of every school in in town. And uh, you know, JFK and uh, Genio VC, and uh, I forget the name of the other one over there. But you've you've got basically you know, uh, kindergarten through high school covered all within the pocket all within your village over there. And they're all really nicely rated schools. You've got the Nugget Supermarket. You've got a Walgreens, a bunch of little small, you know, mom and pop style places. And Mark, you've got a Papa Murphy's Take and Bake. So, I mean, I, I think you'd be in hog heaven over there if you didn't already plant your flag in Gold River. I know, I know. But look at these price points. I mean, look at these price points. Look at these houses. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the two stories, You got, but you got the house on the water. You know, two mm -hmm. and one on the water, 320. You got a nice house here, three car garage, 800. You got the big one here for like over a million, and that's a six bedroom house. Almost 4,000 square so, feet. Yeah, that's a big yeah, one. Yeah. I mean, the price point here is just phenomenal because it just, a lot of people don't know, a lot of people do not know about the pocket. Look at this one right here $800,000, four bedroom, three bath, over 3,000 square feet. And look at that curb appeal. Look how far it's set back. So for me, like, yeah. I think the pocket is one of the best secrets, one of the pocket of houses you should be looking at for sure. And even like here, if you look here at this map with all these price points, I mean, I know people are thinking, oh yeah, this isn't the price, you know, this isn't affordable comparatively what it was three or four years ago. Yeah, but for the new affordability here, like it's hard to basically get homes in Sacramento at the median home price of 530. It just isn't really feasible, even though that is the median home price. These are places where when people move to the pocket Greenhaven, they're not looking there for like, oh, I'm going to move there for a second, then I'm moving somewhere else. This is where they want their end up destination to be because it's just such a nice spot. So you can kind of have it all there. And like you mentioned, schools are right there as well, too. I mean, you know, they've it's got kind of everything. You got what's called, you're in the Sacramento City with municipal Sacramento uh, Unified School District. And then mm -hmm. right there, you got, like you mentioned, you got like what? You got all these schools, great ratings, you know, boom, right there. River yeah. High School, Pony, you got all that stuff. And then look at this. As far as driving, here, this is where you're going to drive to elementary school, right there in the pocket. You're not going to have to deal with the five. You're not going to deal with anything. It's like right there. I mean, how nice is that? Like no if, freeways. Yeah, if you were a remote worker, it would be like, like super sweet because it's you're you're basically in a self-contained village like your family wouldn't like you could go all the way through high school basically and not even have to not that you know you need to live in a bubble but you know just talk about the convenience of uh you know everything being within walking distance or a you know a short bike ride or a super fast you know uh, hop in the car so uh yeah that, that's hard to beat yeah, and look, high school right there too. Boom. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I mean, literally, you are in like, I know they call it the pocket. You are in kind of a bubble, right? Because mm -hmm. at the same time, you'd expect something like this to be somewhere that's super far away from everything, right? But I mean, it has its boutique stores. You got the river. You know, you got schools right there. You got some shopping. You got some restaurants. I mean, it's... It's really like, it really is this contained area that if you need to be close to downtown or if you need to go to the Bay Area for maybe a day a week, it gives you that kind of separation between church and state. It gives you that idea of like, we want to have access to downtown and other stuff, but we don't really want to deal with the traffic, the noise and everything else that comes to downtown, mm -hmm. as we all know. So I don't know. And it has this. Okay, so this is a restaurant. I kid you not, every single person that I bumped into at the pocket, and this was a couple of years ago, had told me that this is it. I told them, hey, look, there's other Italian restaurants I like. And they were like, this is the Italian restaurant. They were like, it's a pocket green haven secret. No one really knows about this place. It is amazing. Have you ever heard of it? I, I have not. No, I was I was expecting something else. And that's no, but I'm going to go check it out. That That looks good. I mean, honestly, and like everyone's saying, this is where we go. This is where we go. So I don't know. I mean, I, I like that kind of vibe. And I like this, the idea here that I talked about Garcia Bend Park, right on the water. You can bring your boat down. You can go some fishing. You can cruise around. I mean, you're right mm -hmm. on the Sacramento River. So for me, I don't know. There, there's not two negatives I would say about the uh, about about like, you know, the pocket Green Haven. What do you think as far as neg negatives? If there's a con that you'd mention about this spot, what would you say? Um, we'll pull, pull up the map. 
I mean, uh, uh, you know, one of the things that, you know, just like a lot of areas, whether you're talking about Sacramento or, you know, anywhere, um, Pocket is, is no different. And if you look at the map, um, to the, to the uh, east of I-5, um, so we're actually, uh, uh, can you flip us around? Uh, click the, yeah, to where we're north. Yeah, so that, that those two roads that we're looking at, basically, there's I-5 and then that's Freeport Boulevard, the, the wider road to the right of I-5 that you can see. So that, that whole little section to the west, that is the pocket area. And, you know, if you go east of there, uh, you know, things get kind of Western real quick. And so, okay. you know, it's, it's, a you know, a negative could be that, uh, you know, you're, you you quickly go from a really nice area to, you know, possibly that not a, a you know, a great area very quickly as soon as you transition across the roads. But, you know, where I live in Sacramento near the college, um, and a lot of other areas around Sacramento, it's, it's like that pretty much everywhere. So, I mean, if, if I were like having to just nitpick things about the area and that's, you know, on the show, a lot of you guys that watch, you know, that's one of the reasons hopefully why you're watching is that we give you the, the honest, you know, the, the real deal on stuff. And so, you know, it can get kind of sketchy east of uh, Freeport. So that, that'd be my only negative about the area really, besides the fact that it's just, there's there's not a lot of houses so it's very competitive and that does keep prices up and all that but it, it also keeps the area up it's a it's a really nice spot for me i kind of like the idea that it's kind of separated but the only thing for me would be worrying me is if they're going to build in other areas like this and what they plan on building because you are super close to downtown that'd, mm -hmm. be, that'd be pretty much it but honestly living by the water the price point comparatively towards what you get in sacramento is still pretty solid no new home building, so no nails and tires mm -hmm. and everything, too. I mean, one of the few areas that doesn't have it. I mean, even areas like, you know, like East Sacramento still has some new home development. You don't have anything because there's not a lot there going on. You're on SMUD and not on PG&E, which I like. I like the Delta Breezes. I like the community vibe. Um, it's kind of what I grew up with. So for me, I really like it. So for me, I would say, you know, the pocket would definitely be that spot that I would look at. I mean, like I said, if I'm someone who's thinking like, who would I who would I say would be perfect for this? If you're maybe going to UC Davis Medical Center or working downtown and you're thinking mm. to yourself, West Sacramento is not really my thing. East Sacramento is too expensive. So is Land Park. Tahoe Park's nice, but it's still right in the middle of stuff. And I'm I kind of want a little bit of quiet. Um, I don't want to go as far as Elk Grove. I think the pocket is a great spot. And I think if you go to the pocket, especially with our team, um, you know, you, you will see it through uh, and you'll see what it's all about. And this could be definitely a viable option for you. And I would hate to have you kind of like not look at the pocket green Haven before you decide to pull the trigger on something. So even if you're working with another realtor, have them show you the pocket. Cause it's a great spot. Um, mm -hmm. now that's it. I think that's it for the pocket. Oh, by the way, guys, just to let you know, Aaron, and I took a lot of time to kind of create this for you. So please like the video, please. subscribe to the channel. And if you are someone who's looking to buy in the area, reach out to Aaron. He is a mortgage broker, not just a lender, not working with a bank. He's a broker. So he's got some of the best rates bar none. He's one of the top mortgage brokers in the area. And if you want to guys reach out to our team, we're one of the top relocation teams. We work with a lot of people bringing them in to the area, educating you. Cause that's the hugest key of a piece of the puzzle. That a lot of people don't focus on. No one will show you the pocket unless you ask for it, except for our team. So hopefully you enjoy this video and that's it. We're done. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Over here is a link to the live show that we do every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We all know the market's changing. We have a forum here for you guys to ask your questions if you're thinking about moving to the area. We'll see you there Wednesday at 7 p.m. live on YouTube.